Hello everyone. So today our topic is organizational structure. First we will see why is an organizational structure needed. The market is competitive. Therefore, the organization should adapt to market demand and, and be responsive. Organization with poor structure will not survive. A well-defined structure helps the organization realize its potential and support its objective. For example, let us say your organization is producing a product. Your customers are satisfied and not very demanding. What kind of organization, organization structure will you select it? You will select the functional organization structure because it supports production operation. Let's consider another case. Suppose your organization has 10 employees and deal with small projects. You always start looking for a new project. In this case, what kind of structure will you select? It? You will select the projectorized organization structure as you are dealing with projects. Now the final case. Your organization is enormous. The work environment is dynamic. Customer requirements and market demands are very always changing. What kind of structure will you select? You cannot select the functional organization because it does not allow for quick changes to its operation. You also cannot select the projectorized structure although it supports a dynamic nature. This is not enough. Your organization is big and you need permanent departments to keep your organization functioning. This is not possible with a pure projectorized organization. Therefore, you will select a matrix organizational structure. It has the quality of both the functional and projectorized organizational structure and will support you operation and help achieve the organization objectives. So organizing mean organizing is defined as a process of creating an organization structures. The process that process is important and serves many purposes. While designing a structure, what kind of challenges managers has have to face? The first one is uh, divides work to be done into specific jobs and departments. Assign tasks and responsibility associated with individual's jobs. Coordinate diverse organizational tasks. Establish relationships among individuals, groups, and departments. Establish formal lines of authority. Allocate, deploy organizational resources. So these were the challenges manager has to face while designing a structure of organization. Definition An organization structure is a formal framework by which job tasks are divided, grouped, and coordinated. Now next is types of organizational structure. The types of organization st structures depends on many factors such as governing style, leadership style, workflow, hierarchy, and management. Structure depends upon these are factors. Here we are going to discuss eight organizational structures. 
First one is organic or simple organizations. Second one is functional or centralized organization. Multi-divisional organization. Matrix organizations. Project-oriented organization. Virtual organization. Hybrid organization. And PMO. Organic or simple structures. Here you may work alone or side by side. You may be only employees in your company. Instance of this type are sole partner, OPC one person company or a freelancer. Second one is functional centralized organization structures. This is the most common used organizational structure. Here the organization comprises various departments. Such department has people with similar skills. Sales departments, marketing department, finance department, to name a few. This help organizations enhance the efficiency of each functional group. Next one is multi-divisional organization. Here you may have many functional divisions with all data centralization. Generally these divisions are independent. Project managers do not have authority. However, they have part-time staff. An organization is divided into various divisions. Employees with diverse skills are kept together in the forms of group. Based on a similar product, service or geographic locations, each division has the resources required to function and can do the task on its own. Metric organizational structures. This is a hybrid of a functional and projectorized organizational structures. Here you have two command structures, vertical and horizontal. An employee may belong to a functional group but can also work on a project. This structure uses the best of both worlds. A metric organizational structure can be of three types. Strong metric structure, balanced metric structures, and weak metric structure. Three types of metric organization structures. First one is strong metric structure. Strong metric structure organizations are closer to a projectorized organization. Here the project managers have the highest authority, control over the project and a full-time team reporting to them. Balanced metric structure. A balanced metric has properties of the both functions and projectorized structures. Here project managers have a low to moderate authority and a part-time team. The budget is managed by both the project manager and the function manager. Weak metric structures. A weak metric structure is closer to the function structure. Here project managers have a low authority and no control over the budget. They will have a part-time team. The next one is uh, project oriented, composite or hybrid organizational structure. A project ties organization obviously deals with projects. Project managers have full authority to complete the project successfully, have a full time role, control over the budgets and a full team reporting to team, reporting to them. A team based structure is another name for a projectorized organizational structure. Virtual organization. Many experts call this as a virtual corporation. The central organization is connected to outside firms via the internet. The outside firm can be a vendor, client or associate. This structure helps organization achieve corporate growth and a greater profit. In a network structure, the organization keeps its core business to itself while the rest of process and outsource. 
This structure is also known as a hollow corporations, hollow organization and network structure or network structure. Here the project manager has a low to moderate it. However, they have mixed control over the budget. They may or may not have a full team, full time team reporting them. Hybrid. To, to its name, this structure may use any combination of the organizational structures. Suppose yours is a functional organization. It needs a small building and your organization has the cap capability to build it. In this case, your organization will create a separate project team to complete this task. This is a mixed structure. So responsibility, authority and the other factors are also mixed depending on the structure. PMO. PMO is also a mixed organizational structure. Project manager have the highest authority. They control the budget and have a full team reporting to them. Here is where the blog post on organizational structures ends. Thank you.